Born, bred, and brought up in Kariobangi Estate, at the age and height of Russell Maina, a young man by the name Nick Abaka, alias King Abaka, fell in love with boxing, and each and every day, morning and evening, he could come here at the Kariobangi Social Hall just to hang on the window or be lifted up by friends just to have a glimpse of his father Tom Abaka and his first professional coach Eddie Papamusa, trained former Kenyan boxers. At this younger age, he was already dreaming, believing and trusting that one day it was going to be okay. Kasi through God's grace sige kwa mali niko hapa sasa. Kwa sababu naweza kumbuka by then kikuja hata sijaweza kutosha kwa ile dirisha. Niko kwa mshot sana. Siko kwa na bidla zeba ni pipa ma nainuliwa unaona na naweza kuchungulia nione vinyato na train. This was in the year 1991, but today and now, 28 years down the lane, after winning various accolades with the Kenyan Defence Forces boxing team, representing Kenya at the Commonwealth Games in Greece and Australia, participating in Olympics and finally at the military games, Abaka ventured into an emotional journey back to where he was born, trained, molded and exposed to the world, Kariobangi Estate. Here, he is up to something good. A mission not only to motivate, inspire, and transform the boxing amateurs looking up to him, but also give them a chance on the national stage. Ni experience poor, na ni privilege to find a training na mbaka. Yeah, to at least on the Olympics. Yeah, ako na ako na experience na napenda vile na tuone shab tumpia. Abaka. A boxer who has seen it all, both on the national and on world stage, on the blue and red corner, closely reminiscent with his difficult past as an upcoming boxer, the challenges and tasks that crafted him to be a regular member of the heat squad since the year 2005, to being the Kenya-bound boxing team captain at the Commonwealth Games in Australia in the year 2018. more technical. Na tukiongea kweli nilikuwa kona more skills kumshinda okay bila kwa kumzuri but wajua as a boxer you know when you are scoring you know punches zako venye zimeland judgment il to disappoint sana il to disappoint sana but mimi naweza sema i think ilikuwa kwa tu pia na reason kwa sababu najua pia ni age limit wanapata wala tunacheza na pia unaweza pata ni wayangu kushinda we bado Sasa uneza patu kwa more skillful, but ye maybe atakuwa na tumia ngugu, but sasa hili skill uko na uko na mouth, na mouth box. In Australia, after mixed fortunes, in the opening matches, more boxers took to the ring amid hopes of increasing Kenya's medal chances. Boxer Nick Abaka taking on Zambia's Kaonga Mbachi in the 81 kilogram round, but to him and other boxers like Brian Agina, Eli Ajoi, Benson Gisharu, and Nick Okoth, it never ended well. But ni wendo nasikia mwili yako. Cheza boxing, wache legacy. Su cheze boxing, malisasa uliko, unajua saizi ni kacheza mchezo yote. Usiketua baka alishindwa. That's, hiyo ndi itakwa kituwa kwaza kwa kwa newspaper. Abaka alishindwa game. So unaweza pata. Sasa, ile... At his age, he will not like boxing to leave him, but rather complete a mission of leaving the sport on a high. Isiwe tu ni abaka and then manena abaka nishi hapo, hapana. Ikuwe ni abaka na generation to generation itakujaka inafaya nini, inasucceed. Kwe tu saisi ni kama role model wawo, watu wana adima venyu mevua, muta ama adima venyu unapanya kitu. And then muta unona na concentrate na natilia manani. Enough said, the short moment of great promise and the ugly side of being a Kenyan athlete where others fade away never to be remembered, while others die broke has been changed by Nick Abaka's script that even though out of the ring, even though out of the pitch, even though out of the tracks, the Kenyan athletes can at least do something to the society to transform the lives of the youth. Chris Migwambo, Switch TV, Kariobangi Social Hall in Nairobi.